pregúntale tres anécdotas que le hayan pasado diferentes en, en el boxeo. He wants to know what are, what, like three anecdotes that you got from boxing that stick with you. Either some, you learned a lesson or just something fun that happened. Man, um, the adjustments that you have to make in life. You make those same adjustments in the boxing ring. Thinking on your feet. Got to be calm and relaxed whenever it's not going your way. And I think that, uh, you know, the patience that you need for boxing, yeah. you need that same kind of patience in life, you know. Um, those are like the two main things that I feel boxing has really just got me ready for anything that's going to come at me. Um, and I think the hard work, you know, when, when you've worked as hard as mm -hmm. we have, working hard now is like, It's like waking up in the morning. I know how to work hard, you know. I know when I'm not giving it my all. I know when I need to do more or when I need to do less, you know. So, man, boxing has got me ready for life. <laughs> That's good. You yeah. heard that patience. Yeah. That's the passion. Yeah. It's the patience. The patience. My father has no patience. No patience. <laughs> no, my father has no patience. <laughs> But you put pressure, no problem. I got, man, You listen. are back to me. <laughs> I'm, I'm keeping some things in the tuck here. Okay. Because I I want you to come do my podcast. Oh, absolutely. And we're yeah. talking about patience when you. Come oh, we're we'll talking we're we'll talking about patience. <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, yeah. And also we we, we want to have you for the second part. You yeah. know, there's still so much that we can talk I know, about. I know. Yeah. We gotta have you for the second yeah. part as well. I, I'd love to come back. I'd love to meet halfway. Whatever we gotta do to make it absolutely. happen. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you guys. But you do you do your podcast take it easy or the same that Mike Tyson smoking. No. <laughs> <laughs> you no, remember we, you you see the podcast is all the time. Oh yeah. I'm not mad at Mike. Mike's doing what he wants to do, yeah. and I, I I love that. I think that that's a part of life now. People are kind of on that wave of do what that will do what you want to do, and you know I, I'm a lot the same. The reason why the Port Away podcast is named the Port Away, you guys said it earlier. You've never seen, you don't see very many boxers in America fight the way that I fought. We were always about being different, separating ourselves and being better than everybody else. And not to say that I'm like actively trying to be better than um, uh, un, un, un round mas, Great. Um, but at the same time, what I want to do with my podcast is be so different, mm -hmm. so new, unique, that people will look at it and say, their podcast is just, they have a different way of doing it. It's the port away, you know. It's the port away. Yeah. So. That's why the name. Why the name? Port away. Eh, explicó que el port away porque muy poca gente pelea como él pelea. Sí. O sea, si ven son los Estados Unidos, sí, no. Ajá, yeah. no pelean así. Entonces, la port away es la manera de port. Entonces, podcast lo quiere hacer igual, que es diferente a, a otros podcasts. No dice que es mejor que un Ramón, no dice que es mejor que el otro. Simplemente es diferente. diferente. Yeah. ¿Qué de los invitados que ha llevado ha sido más difícil para poder? Who has been your Your toughest guest. In, in, not in toughest as a bad person, but like yeah, to yeah. crack. Because, you know, fighters don't sit down and talk, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's hard to really find their way into a comfortable setting that they can just open up. I'm, a, I'm proud of the interview I did with Javante Tank Davis. Uh, this was, uh, I think this was last year. Um, I did it for the zone. I think this was last year, before he fought Ryan. He fought Ryan last year, right? Pretty sure. Yeah. And, um, I I'd seen his interviews and you know not very talkative and mm -hmm. things like that, and so I walked up to him before the before we started the interview, and that's what I told him. I said I said, listen, man, we're gonna sit down, we're gonna talk 10, 15 minutes. Really? I said they didn't give me a script, so I'm just gonna talk about whatever I want to talk about. I said just relax, and it's just a conversation. Don't worry about me asking you a question and you waiting on an answer. Let's just talk. I said, this is why I told him, I said, here's the thing. You're already getting paid for your fight. I already got paid. <laughs> so if we go up there and mess this up, who cares? We're both already True. paid. So let's just go up there and have fun. And when I did that, that interview, I had so many people texting me, telling me, you got Gervonta to say things that we've never heard him say, behave and be uh, more articulate than we've ever seen him. And... I feel like, you know, again, that port away of, of, of how I do things, you know, um, that was one of my, that's an interview that I'm super, super proud of. And, uh, Andre Ward, I, I got the Andre interview, Ward. Andre Ward. Um, there's, there's so many guys. Um, 
I don't know if there's one that I would that I would say came on and it didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Really? Uh, yeah, I don't think there is. Yeah. Have it? Cool. There been a guest that you're like, oh, this is hard. Like I can't find my yes, way. Yes, it's for that. That's the question because for me it was a uh, Sebastian Martinez. Remember when Don't talk about he fight with uh, Julio Chavez uh -huh. the title. Uh huh. We stay here and said, "Oh, what happened? What do you feel? You yeah. you fought with Chavez. I feel good. Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> yeah, long uh, night. But you you fought with the the, the best fighters at the, the, the time. Uh, more or less. You said, oh, <laughs> "What do we got to do?" I said to to Oscar Rollins, "Hey, help me! I don't know what happened. I can't do." Shout out to Rolly Romero. <laughs> that, that that would be the, wor the, oh. the worst interview that I've done. Really? And I like Rolly. Here's the here's the disclaimer. I like Rolly. I got frustrated uh, interviewing Rolly because Rolly is a different dude. Mm -hmm. And just like that right there, yeah. I asked him a question, and he just didn't answer it. Right? <laughs> but I'm good. I'm, I I I make my adjustments and I'll find uh -huh. you. Right? Made my adjustment. I found you, and you just didn't answer it again. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, well, what's happening here? <laughs> I told him, I said, you, you got to interview him because I don't want to, I don't want to talk to him anymore, you know? Ended up getting, getting frustrated, disrespected him a little bit on the show, but he kind of made it through it or whatever. But the worst interviews yeah. are the fighters that It's difficult. Talk. It's difficult. Don't talk. <laughs> but, but different that uh, Sacha Martinez, the brother, that's uh, Dorado. Yeah. He fought with Salvador Sanchez, many yeah, yeah, big yeah, fighters. yeah, yeah. yeah. Talk about, talk about fast, nice. Yeah. We say, oh, maybe we to do one hour. One, one hour, 40, 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. We talk about, we talk about, say, oh, my God. Very good. <laughs> It's different, that yeah. brother. Yeah. También, es, ¿cómo se llama el, el, el que vino este, que trajo el panda? Que es... ¿Acabado? No. No, lo trae también él. Que perdió apenas, ah, lo invito. Ah, Subir Matías. Oh. The same. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't oh, talk yeah. about it. Don't yeah, talk yeah. about what you say. Yeah. Okay. Very nice guy. That's very, very nice. Very nice Oh, guy. it's good person. Yeah. Yeah. Nice person. Yeah. But I said, come on, you right now, you are the best. And I don't know. I go to retire maybe in three, four years. Yeah, but coming to, mm, no, I don't know. You say, oh, my God. It's very nice person. But difficult to talk, to talk, to talk, to talk. Mm -hmm. is, for me, it's difficult. Oscar Robles, my son, put me here. But maybe sometimes we talk about different that yeah, you yeah, have here. Yeah, yeah. It's for yeah, that they say, yeah. okay, we talk about everything. Yeah. And this is only to the Jose Guia. Your guide. Your guide. Yeah. I think that yeah. was the hardest transition for my father, moving from television into something like this mm -hmm. when we started doing the podcast he had that television voice you know he had that um, <laughs> he told me. yeah he had that television voice. <laughs> welcome to the show guys and we're gonna, you know and i was like that's okay no write this. me write me you don't stay in the tv you is in the yeah. podcast okay i <laughs> said this is a conversation you yeah. know this is whatever flows you don't have to follow the script. you don't have like your 30 second spot yeah. get whatever you want out and then you know you're out So I think that was the hardest transition for my father in general, just getting that mentality that you're not in TV. You know, this exactly, is yeah. more laid back. This is more chill. Did that happen to you? For me, it's just like, so So I'll answer your question real quick. My my uh, podcast is like super laid back and it's cool. I see it, yeah. And I'll do the podcast, or I used to. I don't do it so much anymore. And I'll talk with like slang while I'm doing the podcast. And I'm like, Uh, don't do that on fight night, you know, because you got to be more buttoned up, mm -hmm. more more proper and things of that nature. But um, I treat the podcast and I treat work in general just like boxing. I write my notes. I did some notes for this guy and all that kind of stuff. I have a photographic memory. In the same way I would watch a fight over and over in my mind, the way I want, I'll do the same thing with an interview, top to bottom. Remember my questions and all that kind of stuff. I interviewed Timothy Bradley. Okay. We sat down to start, and he said, "You ain't got your phone. You ain't got no notes or nothing." <clears throat> I said, "Nah, man." I said, "We're just talking." And I said, "And I know you. 
and I love you. Yeah. So it's going to be easy for us to do this. I know your career enough for me to guide you to whatever it is we want to tell these people today. And beyond that, it's just friends hanging out. So it's never been hard for me, but I it's the exact same way I would train for a fight. It's the same way I do my notes now before TV. And um, I do the same little visualization stuff, and we go out, and it's showtime.